what's going on. So, as you probably know, how, uh, not housing prices, those are going up too, but food prices are going up. There's talks about, you know, a shortage of food and whatnot. We have been starting to get into our own sort of food growing stuff. Uh, we're like fermenting things. So we got sauerkraut going, asparagus. And just recently, we made sprouts. So we got like a whole bag of broccoli sprouts right here. Broccoli sprouts are really good for you. They're like full of protein and fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, zinc, stuff like that. Um, they're actually 10 to 100 times uh, more nu nutritious than the full broccoli. So literally, it's just mini broccolis, so you don't let them grow fully. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. We made this much, we had some today, but it's about this much sprouts. It filled this whole jar, this is a quart. So um, this next batch, I'm actually gonna use a half a gallon. Um, jar, but if you're using a quart, you just do two tablespoons of your sprouting seeds in this size, okay? So you need whatever size jar. With this half gallon, I'm doing four tablespoons of seeds, so I'm just doubling it. And we got these wide mouth um, filters, there's like holes in this, um, because you need the water to come out, but you want the seeds to stay in. So. <coughs> I'm gonna take my jar, and I'm gonna take my seeds. We have a link in the description for these and the lids in some jars, maybe. Um, so I got these from Amazon. They're organic Rainbow Heirloom Seed Company. Broccoli sprouting seeds. Um, so we're gonna get four tablespoons. All right, so we got four tablespoons in here. And on the first day, well, I'm doing it at night so that overnight, they're just gonna soak in water. So we're gonna fill this up. All right, so you're gonna fill it up. Make sure they all get wet, you know. There we go, there's seeds in there. And then I'm just gonna put this lid on it so nothing gets in there tonight. And then it, I'm just gonna set it there. So in the morning, what you do is you empty it. We should just show them in the morning. All right, we'll show you in the morning. Good morning, it is the next day. Our seeds have soaked. And so what we're gonna do is come over here and just drain this out. Shake it up a bit. And then we're just gonna fill it again and rinse them one more time. Kind of shake them up, get them all rinsed. And then empty it again. And you're gonna shake it up, get all the water out. A few times, make sure you get most of the water out. And then I'm kind of like twisting it around to get these stuck on the sides because what you don't want is you don't want a bunch of the seeds along the top you just need some airflow through there so you don't want them to block where it's at on the lid and then what you do is you can set this anywhere you just want it at like an angle like this so I'm just gonna use this here kind of put it at an angle so any water can come out so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna let it be and then tonight, like around eight o'clock or something, I'm gonna rinse them again, shake it out, and just do that and let it sit overnight. So twice a day, you just rinse it and let it drain out and then you do that every day for like four to six days and then you have sprouts in there. Anyways, so that's how you do it. Um, I think that doing sprouts is a really important and easy thing that you can add to your food supply. A lot of people would be buying, you know, processed, packaged, boxed goods and canned goods, which is fine and they last a long time, but actually having some really good nutritious stuff for you is important 
and so we're kind of more trying to focus on um, what we can actually make with like fermented foods and sprouting seeds and stuff so that's it